Spurgeon here with RevZilla, and today we're going to take a look at the next XG200 off-road helmet available at RevZilla.com. So what you're going to see on the table today is going to be their vintage-inspired motocross-style helmet. This is really going to be a street helmet. I don't see too many people out there utilizing this for dirt use, but for those of you out there with a modern scrambler or with something that you know is a little bit more of that vintage aesthetic on the street, this might be an option for you to consider. Now, the biggest thing that I've noticed, because it, Nex is definitely not the first manufacturer to bring out this retro-inspired helmet, but very quickly, if I were to take this and I were to squeeze it, there's very minimal flex. This is probably one of the nicest shells that I've seen for this style vintage-inspired off-road lid. This is the XG200 from Nex, and it's going to utilize that X-Matrix fiberglass composite shell. Now, from a pricing standpoint, this is going to come in around the $350 price point for solids and around the $400 price point for graphics. The graphic that you're going to see on the table in front of me is the Rock On. And this is really going to be for those of you out there possibly rocking maybe a new BMW Scrambler or a BMW GS Urban. You know, I can really see this appealing to the BMW crowd with the colors that you're seeing on the Rock On. From a sizing standpoint, what you're going to notice with this, two different shell sizes now. So if you're familiar with the old XG100, what we're seeing now from Next is they've incorporated two different shell sizes across their XG line. From extra small up to medium, you get the first shell size. And then if you have a large noodle on your shoulder like I do, you can jump up to the second shell size with a large up to 2XL for that second shell. DOT ECE rated, three pounds, one ounce in a large, when we threw this on the scale. And it's an intermediate to neutral oval. So it's a little bit more neutral than what we're seeing with something like the XG100. So a little bit more room on the side of the head with the XG200. From a features standpoint, what you're going to notice with this, very minimal. You are going to have a chin vent on this, but the rest of the helmet, there's no vents. It's going to be very vintage in its look, in its style, as well as its functionality. Now you will note that on the XG100 series, you actually could close that vent on the front of this. There's no way to close that vent on this particular XG200, so that vent is open all the time. The airport is going to be open all the time. What you would use with this is a pair of goggles to protect those peepers. Now, the one thing that is adjustable on this is the peak visor. Built into the plastic peak itself is about five millimeters of adjustment, so you can actually lower it down a little bit or pull it up a little bit depending on how you want it to help block some of that sun that might be glaring for you. And you will notice on this one, you do get that little next logo on the top of your peak visor. Now it is a three snap design. So in theory, they might come out with some kind of a face shield that would work with this at some point in time. But for right now, that three snap design is really just for the peak on this one for the XG200 off-road. Let's go ahead, we're gonna flip it up and take a look at the inside of this. And really what you're gonna have is that X-Smart dry liner, double D-ring closure. With some of the next helmets, they're using a, uh, a ratchet strap. I actually really like the double D. It works so much simpler. I feel like, you know, for me personally, it doesn't cut off on my chin. And it's, you know, gonna kind of hold true to that vintage aesthetic with this. Cheek pads are just Velcro in, Velcro out. Very comfortable. A Little bit of a contour, not too much but it's more of the comfort that you're getting with this. And if we pull the liner out, one of the things that I liked about the liner is that it's very simple in. There's no snaps whatsoever to cause any kind of discomfort. And then along the back, there's a little bit of Velcro that kind of holds it into place, as well as just this plastic piece that works its way up into the shell. Now, the one thing to note here is there are no speaker cutouts with this. So if you're someone that wants to use a comm system, this might not be the most comfortable helmet to use it with. But keep in mind, this is a vintage inspired helmet. No one in the 1970s was rocking Bluetooth communicators. Now, if you take a look at the interior on this, what you will notice is you have channel cutouts running down the EPS liner. And you know we talked about that chin vent. The only other thing you'll notice, if you look up here underneath the peak, you've got two very small vents that kind of hide below the peak on this. We'll push a little bit of airflow through, but honestly, the name of the game on this is aesthetics, so you're gonna sacrifice some of the comfort in the warmer months of the year as far as ventilation is concerned to really kind of hold through to that retro theme because those two little holes that you're gonna see in the front aren't gonna promote that much airflow. 
But if you're looking for a solid, you know, off-road style, you know, vintage inspired helmet, this is definitely gonna be one that's more protective, you know, than some of the other ones that I've seen out there, just from a simple standpoint of, you know, you've really got some rigidity to the shell on this helmet compared to some of the other ones that I've seen, which have a little more flex built into them. Now, there's a lot of folks out there utilizing necks. And if you wanna hear more about what they have to say, now would be the time to click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already putting the XG200 through its paces. If you want to talk to one of our gear geeks as to which helmet is right for you, your bike, your riding style, never hesitate to give them a shout, 877-792-9455, or simply shoot over an email to cs at ribzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the XG200 off-road helmet from Nex. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.